Hey guys, Pandy here of Pandy's Hair Candy and More. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for taking a moment to stop by. If this is your first time visiting, thank you. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know what it is. Welcome back. You guys, I am going to jump right into this review. I did a pre-boxing of sorts on yesterday on my channel, just letting you all know of some amazing deals that I caught at Glamour Tress. This particular unit was on sale for $21.49. It is a synthetic wig. Um, it is from the Sensational Empress Lace Wigs Collection. Um, and it's just a little short, simple bob. Y'all, um, straight out of the box, I wasn't too impressed with the unit. However, I figured I could finesse it. Um, the hair does come off a bit shiny and Barbie dollish. However, um, I plan to take some uh, dry shampoo in my aerosol spray can and just kind of mist it over it to kind of dull that shine down. Also, I have a new stocking cap underneath and you can kind of see the beginning parts of my stocking cap right there. So, um, This hair was also very limp and flat, so I had to like kind of back comb it and I sprayed it with my gots to be glued free spray just to kind of try to put some volume into it and then I kind of feather combed it back. But other than that, it is a cute little simple basic bob, which is what I was going for. Just something that I can throw on and go to work in. Something easy and low maintenance. Now it does come with these baby hairs. Um, they are kind of long. You can opt to cut them or you can just blend them back in with the wig. But for $21.49, I mean, you really can't go wrong. It's a simple style. Um, and I just utilized the baby hairs just so y'all could see. I probably, I don't think I would wear it because I like had to pull some of the hair from the wig out to add with the baby hair just so it wouldn't look crazy. And then I kind of tucked it behind my ear because when I had it out, it just looked kind of weird to me. Now the back is kind of like a little choppy bob back there and it's kind of tapered. I don't know if y'all can get a good look. So that's the back. And that's the other side. Um, and like I said, the parting space, I just put some pressed powder in there. Um, I used the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 330 just to kind of give it a scalp-like appearance. Um, it does have lots of body. However, I am experiencing lots of shedding. Um, and I'm glad I'm doing this tonight in case I do decide to wear this one tomorrow. Which I think I will just because that other one was so curly. It seems so fancy. I might save that for another occasion. But this is more work friendly because I'm going to be moving and sweating at work. And I didn't want to be all hot. So if you guys want to take a few minutes to finesse it. And kind of fix it up to your liking. I say it's a yes. Is it my favorite wig? No. Um, I do like this feathered side here. Um, however, it wouldn't stay like that. It kept dropping and dropping. So I literally combed it over with my wide tooth comb and held it there and then just spritzed it with my spray. So you will have to do some tweaking. Um, however, it's a cute, simple bob. Um, I think I would opt to. Oh, and y'all. Oh my God, that light is making my face look ugh, extremely shiny. And I'm sure that probably looks kind of dark now, but whatever it is, what it is. Y'all get the general idea. It's cool for 21 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's your standard cap construction. Again, I went over all the details on the video yesterday. Standard cap construction, two combs, not really on the sides. I think there's one here and one here. 
Um, it's like medium head friendly because it's sitting just above my ears. It doesn't really go ear to ear. Um, however, it is a comfortable fit. You got your comb in the back and your adjustable straps. It's comfortable. You know, my um, two strand twists are just pulled all the way back. And then I just kind of got a French braid going across the back to tuck my comb up under. Um, and again, it is a tapered back. So, I mean, for 21 bucks, I'll rock it and wear it to work for the next few weeks. You already know. It's a different style. It's cute. It's short. And I like hair that's not on my neck. However, I am still getting shedding. And I know I cut it extremely close to the lace. It did have a lace front. But it's cool for the money. So, yeah, it comes in a variety of colors. As you can see from the stock card. And again, it was $21.49 on Glamour website. This is the Empress Lace Front Wig Iyana. Iyana. I got it in the color 1B. Um, it says that it is hand tied with a deep curve for a more natural shape part. 100% premium fiber. So it, they claim it's supposed to mimic human hair, but this is a very silky wig. This is not at all on the yakky side. This is like you got a bone straight relaxer plus a hard press. And some extra greets because it's on shine status. <laughs> um, it's supposedly that kind of lace that you can cut out a small section of your hair and leave it to be blended out over the part. But I never do that just because my hair texture is nowhere near this silky. So that would look crazy as hell. So, yeah. You all, I'm Pandy of Pandy's Hair Candy and More. Over here, we talk about wigs, we talk about natural hair, wellness, some makeup, some recipes, and just life in general. Again, I want to thank you for taking a moment to stop by and rock with your girl. And if you like what you've seen so far, please take a moment to like the video and please take a moment to subscribe. I'm a newer YouTuber and I'm trying to grow my channel. So please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And tap on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content to the channel. Thank you so much and you all have a blessed night.